So it's gonna be intense. And I can't f***ing wait. <laughs> Oh, oh, that is horrible. Mm, oh, I can't breathe. That's not actually the 145 uh, five pound division, it's the McGregor division. 145, I wanted to make that championship weight to let people know that I was 145 championship weight. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Wow. <coughs> Uh, all right. What's going on, everyone? It's Seal Suede. In this video, I'm going to eat like Conor McGregor at 145 pounds. So, in this video, I'm going to be attempting Conor McGregor's diet plan at his 145 pound weight class, which he was unbelievably lean for. Honestly, he even looked sick. That was how low his body fat was, and that was how extreme this diet plan was. So this is going to be super low calorie for an extreme athlete like Conor McGregor. And look, I've already done a video where I ate like Conor McGregor at 170 pounds for his most recent fight with Donald Cerrone, which you guys absolutely loved. And obviously he looked really good at 170 pounds. He was full, he was very muscular. At the same time, he was lean. Official weight, Whoa! How good do I look at 170? Yes, I feel real good at this weight. But at 145 pounds, I'm gonna show some screenshots of some before and afters or comparing his weight classes to how he looks like at 145. He literally looks sick. The dude looks like a zombie. <laughs> Obviously, he had to take things to an extreme level to fight at 145 pounds. So with that being said, his diet at 145 pounds is going to consist of almost 1,900 calories coming from five clean meals. So look guys, I want you to do two quick things for me. Number one, give the video a like right now if you are a fan of Conor McGregor or you're a fan of UFC in general. And then after you've given the video a like, comment down below and let me know your opinion on who Conor McGregor is going to fight next. I'm coming for all them in this division. It begins with Donald. And any one of these little melty fools can get it. There are so many names up in the air right now. And as a UFC fan, I'd love to chat it up in the comment section down below. So let's get Rowdy down there and let's go ahead and get started with meal number one in McGregor's diet plan at 145 pounds. <laughs> So I just got done preparing meal number one, and guys, whether Connor is at 145 pounds, 155 pounds, or 170 pounds, leave it up to McGregor to eat salmon and Brussels sprouts for breakfast, let alone salmon and Brussels sprouts paired up with whole eggs and black coffee. The guy eats however he wants, seriously. But look, with that being said, meal number one is going to consist of six ounces of cooked salmon, 100 grams of pan-seared Brussels sprouts, along with two whole eggs and a cup of black coffee. Coffee. This has got to be the weirdest pairings with foods that I've ever eaten. It's funny, I think the other Conor McGregor videos, literally I got hit with weird food combinations, which is crazy. But anyways, look, I'm not gonna complain. This looks really good, but it's just an odd time, especially to have salmon, Brussels sprouts, and eggs together. But hey, cheers. Okay, look, salmon at this time, I'm not even gonna play right now because this is killer, for real. Okay, even the Brussels sprouts, a little odd at this time, but I'm a big fan, so I can't complain. All right, salmon is done. Now this is where it's gonna get a little squirrely. So salmon, eggs, what's going on here? But you know what? Let's try it out. Might be a flavor bomb, right? Oh yeah, definitely not a flavor bomb. All right, I think that is the most savage way I've ever eaten whole eggs, but um, I completely forgot that I had coffee with this meal, so I'm gonna chug this. It is lukewarm, so don't worry. I'm not gonna burn my mouth like you guys even care, but let's see how fast. Oh, that is horrible. I'm not done with it yet, but please comment down below. Let me know if you've ever had salmon paired up with coffee. That should never be a thing. Seriously, that is 110% illegal. 
Ugh. All right, guys, that's meal number one. It started off super strong, then we got to the eggs, and then the coffee just completely murdered it. But still, overall, really good. McGregor, you're a classy guy. <laughs> All right, so we are moving on to meal number two, which is going to consist of a cup of Greek yogurt. Now, look, we are gonna time myself. How fast do you all think I can eat a cup of yogurt? I think it's probably gonna be faster than Conor McGregor knocked out Jose Aldo. Here we go! He's smiling. Oh, oh my! Just he slept like that! But, okay, let's go ahead and give it a go. Mmm, oh, I can't breathe. Okay, even Aldo stood a better chance than I did with this yogurt. But anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up meal number two pretty quick, but I'll see you guys for meal number three in a little bit. Moving on to meal number three, we have got ourselves eight ounces of cooked steak along with two cups of spring mix salad and two tablespoons of light balsamic vinaigrette. So essentially minimal carbohydrates here, literally only coming from the leafy greens along with a lot of fat and protein coming from the steak. So let's go ahead and enjoy this one. I think this is probably going to be one of the tastiest meals here. Obviously there's like no carbohydrates, but I don't mind. I'm a big steak person, so I'm gonna enjoy this one. Oh yeah, you just can't go wrong with steak, ever. Okay, even the salad is really, really good. The spring mix with the balsamic vinaigrette, definitely a bomb combo. You know guys, as I do more of these day in the diet videos, I'm becoming a little bit of a better chef, okay? Very impressed with the way I cook the steak. By the way, just a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm sure Conor McGregor is eating a steak that's about $100 a pound, so yeah. Okay, that is going to wrap up meal number three. I really, really enjoyed that. Seriously, for those of you who are on a higher fat yet lower carb diet, give this meal idea a try, okay? Some steak along with some spring mix salad with some light balsamic vinaigrette. Super simple, quick and convenient, and tasted super good. I can attest for that. But anyways, guys, that is actually going to be the pre-workout meal. So I'm gonna wait about an hour and then get in an epic weight training, weight training session. I wish I could get an epic weight training session in. I still have to work out at home due to the COVID-19 situation. So I'm gonna get an epic home workout in and I'll see you guys post-workout in a little bit. So I just got done with my workout. Now it is time to move on to meal number four, which is going to be the post-workout meal, AKA the post-workout protein shake. However, this is gonna be a very interesting protein shake. Y'all will see in just a minute. But anyways, guys, speaking of the workout, it was really good. I mean, at the end of the day, I really, really miss the gym. I have personally not been inside the gym lifting weights in three months, which is absolutely insane because it is literally my job to lift weights, seriously. But I can only imagine how all of you are feeling, but I am personally super excited to get back in. And as always, if you do wanna follow the same training plan that I'm going to be following to get in top shape again when gyms reopen after the COVID-19 situation, click that first link in the description box down below for my 12 week physique program. It's the same training program that I personally follow in the gym. But anyways guys, we have got post-workout meal, which is meal number four. And this is going to be a ridiculously interesting protein shake this is definitely gonna be one for the book so I'm excited I'm actually filming and documenting this but anyways before I tell you all what's in here we also have a serving of mixed nuts on the side so anyways about this concoction we call a protein shake over here so this is going to be a scoop of birthday cake flavored whey protein powder with a cup of coconut water yes coconut water I have no idea why Conor McGregor makes coconut water with whey, whey protein. Maybe he doesn't, whatever. But today, we're gonna do it. And as always, we're gonna be little test guinea pigs. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and give this a try, okay? 
Wow, that is very interesting. Like it's not bad, but it's not that good, but it's actually pretty good. Ugh, look at that consistency. <coughs> oh, yeah, no. I just swallowed coconut chunks. Literally, I forgot there's coconut chunks in this protein shake. Ugh, all right, almost died on camera. All right, guys, there you have it. The coconut water cake flavored protein shake. That was actually really good other than almost dying with the chunks of coconut. Yeah, by the way, if you're wondering why am I drinking this in a wine glass, A, because I feel like Conor McGregor would, and B, seriously, I just kind of like, I'm starting this trend. Not really, but I just make my protein shakes in wine glasses. If you're following me on Instagram, you would know this, which if you're not, at a seal suede. Go follow me on Instagram, let's connect. But anyways, moving on to the mixed nuts, which is yet again, another very interesting combo. All right, there you have it. That is going to conclude meal number four, AKA the post-workout meal. Mixed nuts complete, protein shake destroyed. By the way, as always, you wanna find the same whey protein powder that I typically use in all of my videos. Check out the My Protein Impact Way. I'll link it in the description box down below. Use code seal 40 for 40% off. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. See you guys for the last and final meal in just a bit. All right, I just got done preparing meal number five, AKA the last and final meal in the 145 pound weight class diet plan of the notorious Conor McGregor. But check it out, this is going to consist of six ounces of cooked boneless, skinless chicken breast, a cup of steamed broccoli, 150 grams of cooked sweet potato, and on the side, we have got a cup of ginger and turmeric tea, which is quite refreshing, especially this late at night. So anyways, that is going to wrap up the last and final meal. Let's just get down to business, guys. Okay, when your diet consists of a total of almost 1,900 calories, just understand one of your meals are likely to be very bland and a bit tasteless, just like this. Okay, so I'm only half kidding when I say bland and tasteless, but look, when you're on a low calorie diet, it's actually very smart that you really focus on eating wholesome micronutrient gents foods that are really gonna fill you up, like chicken breast, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. At the end of the day, you know, you can finesse this a little bit, use your own seasonings, uh, make sure you actually cook it right, okay? Cook it right, and it's not gonna be bland. So yeah, whole foods, try not to make it bland, and yeah. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. Okay guys, I am definitely not proud of the way I cooked this meal, but anyways, it is time to wash this down with the ginger and turmeric tea, so let's give it a try. You know what? I figured since I chugged the coffee at the beginning of this video, it's only right that I chugged the tea, so he'll soup this bad boy. Cheers. Ah, that is very turmeric-y. Oh, okay. All right, that is going to wrap up the last and final meal in Conor McGregor's 145 pound weight class diet. Who knew that this low amount of calories could actually be this filling? I definitely don't feel like 145 pounds right now. So the total amount of macros and calories in Conor McGregor's diet at 145 pounds consisted of 1,886 calories coming from 76 grams of carbs, 87 grams of fat, and 195 grams of protein. Now guys, that is an extremely low caloric intake for somebody like Conor McGregor training as much as he does. Look, keep in mind, he's an extreme athlete that does extreme things. So obviously cutting down to 145 pounds isn't healthy whatsoever for somebody like him because he even looked sick to begin with. So obviously you don't wanna get too lean just like Conor did, but of course he's got incentives for it in terms of his fights. But anyways guys, with that being said, make sure you understand that these videos are for pure fun and entertainment reasons only. Don't copy these celebrities every day in the diet, macros and calories and expect to get results, okay? It's just for fun. So look, if you do need help, you wanna follow the same weight training plan as I do, click that first link for my 12-week physique program, or if you need custom meal plans, workout plans, or online coaching, click the second link. I'd love to work with you, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like right now. And then also, after you like the video, comment down below, let me know which other athlete you'd like to see in the next Celebrity Day in the Diet. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now if you are new, hit the notification bell right next to it so you're constantly being updated on new YouTube videos every single week. And follow me on Instagram at Asil Suede. Send me a DM, recommend me a new video topic you wanna see. And of course, I can't wait to connect with you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.